So when you start off with this hairstyle, I take out whatever was in my hair before. And I had like a broccoli on top of my head. So yeah, that's what we coming from. And so first thing I do is I part my hair down the middle. So this is it, just make sure it's parted all the way down the middle, all the way. So after that, I work on my hair sections because it is way too thick. So now that I have one side that's just out like this, I take a spray bottle with water and I drench my hair. Then I take this brush and I brush my hair out. So this is what my hair looks like after I brush it out while it's wet. It looks very poofy. But the reason I brush it out while it's wet is because it's just less painful for me. And I'm very tender-headed, so I suggest if you are too, that you should just um, wet it first and then brush it. So yeah. So for the next part, you should have your hair tie ready. So I grab my headband, as you know I use these. And then I twist it and then I put it on my wrist. So I have it ready. Then I take Trusty Ego. We're not going to talk about how this is controversial right now. We're just going to talk about how this is what I use. So don't be in the comments trying to tell me how it's unhealthy for my hair. Because I know. Do I care? To an extent. Am I going to stop using it? No. So yeah. I just take like a lot kind of. And I put it on my fingertips. So like not in my palms but up here. And I just washed my hair, so I'm kind of sad I have to do this, but it's okay. So I just do this. Remember what I told you in the other video? Ratio from sleek to puffy must be on point. So I'll always put the gel in the back too. Like focus it basically around the part. So like long, like that. And that's all I really use until I do my edges. Then I take my hard brush.
and that's pretty much how I do it. It looks a little rough, but I fixed it, so yeah, you just sweep down both of the ponytails. So after I have my hair in two ponytails, this is when the bun starts to come in. So I take some bobby pins and I'll start with this one because it's drying. Normally I do it while it's still damp because it's easier but it's okay. So I just take it like this. Sometimes I'll twist it and I'll wrap it like that. And then I'll take a bobby pin, a long one. And then I'll just make sure. Then I'll just pin it. And really, my buns only need one pin because there's not a lot going on with them. So, yeah. This is what it looks like after I like kind of wave my hair like that and then I take my scarf as always. I think with sleek hairstyles the trick is always to wrap it. A lot of people don't, they just, well a lot of people don't have to but if you have thick hair like me that tends to be more puffy, tying it will help. So I just take it and I tie it. That's pretty much how I tie mine. I don't really tie it right. I tie it like a do rag, but it gets the job done. So then, while your hair is tied, you can do whatever you have to do your makeup, get ready. And then, before you leave the house, take it off. It's almost time for me to leave the house. So I'm just gonna take it, untie it. And there's like no flyaways. Well, my head looks really big when I just took that off. So you might want to just push the buns forward again and down. Go like this. So this is how I do my sleep buns. This is what they turn out to be. I hope you try my method because I feel like it's very efficient. So, yeah. So guys, thank you for watching my YouTube video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Please comment video suggestions down below because... I'm really drawing a blank, which is why these uploads are coming so far apart, because I don't know what to film, so you guys have to let me know what you want to see, and I'll make it happen. Bye!